Hi, my name is Enzo. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today we're going to make a beer soup. Um, the, the ingredients are pork. We have also uh, bacon, um, sh bacon shoulder, which, so it's less fatty. We have chestnuts. They already been cooked, so they're nice and soft. And fresh basil, um, shallots and red onions, and capsicum. And never forget the beer. This is um, we choose this beer because um, it's uh, it's malt. It's not too bitter, so it should leave a nice uh, background as, uh, as flavors. Let's start. We have also some chicken stock here that we made, uh, uh, we made before. So hot pots, we just put a little bit of uh, olive oil in there and, and the bacon. Then we add um, the chopped shallots and um, red onions. We add the capsicum into it. We and we let that sweep down um, just roughly when it's nice, light and brown, the onions. So we have uh, the pork here. Just been, you can ch cut it very in, in little strips or in cubes or a, a smaller. Um, a nice cheek pork, it's a um, it's flavorsome piece of meat. Uh, it's very also um, cheap to buy and it's going to bring you lots of flavor into it. So just roughly in small cubes like those ones. We just chopped half of it and we're going to leave the rest nice and chunky. Let's see how this is going. On this point of moment, we add a lot of cracked pepper. It's going to give a little um, biteness to our soup. Any other pork cheek is going in. Oh, it smells beautiful already. And I even put the beer yet. In the meantime, I'm going to chop some fresh basil. and add this into it. It's going to start to release beautiful aromas and flavors. So a bit of color there in the meat. That's where we can add the beer into it, just to cover the, uh, the meat and we reduce this down um, two thirds until basically uh, almost evaporates. It's going to leave some bitterness behind and some sweetness as well, which caramelize the, um, um, the vegetables and the pork. This is already it's got a color, which is going to make our soup also nice and, uh, and dark. Okay, it's almost there. So we can uh, chop very roughly some chestnuts. Now the chestnuts, they're going to give um, um, a flourness um, a texture to it and also it's going to give us uh, a little bit of more consistency in a soup so if you want a lot of chest uh, if you want a nice thick soup you you can put more chestnuts into it and probably a couple ladles of chicken stock and we simmer this for 10-15 uh, minutes and then we add our seasoning into it. So this is almost ready. Um, just a little bit of bubbles away. I'm going to uh, puree this soup and have a nice smooth flavor. I'm going to just add a lot of extra um, cracked pepper. Nice and wintry, um, full flavor. Smells absolutely fantastic, that uh, basil and the bacon and the beer. So um, a bit of salt and she's ready to come. I'm going to put a stick blender on. So nice and fine and ready to be served. Mmm yum. I have this for dinner tonight. Good guys, bon appetit, my beer pork soup.
It's a beautiful spring day and we're on the balcony of True South down at Black Rock. Let's go downstairs and talk to Sam the Brewer and see what she's up to. Sam, tell us about the True South microbrewery. Well, True South is a, a brewery, restaurant and bar. Um, we've had our doors open since December 2009. Um, we've got a purpose-built microbrewery in here. We've got a beautiful function deck upstairs which overlooks the bay. Um, the brew house is from uh, Canada, NSI. Um, we had it shipped over here uh, beginning of last year, beginning of 2009. Um, sitting in a warehouse while we designed and, and, uh, and went through the building of the, of the actual venue. Um, and then I, with the help of a couple of hefty blokes, um, put the tanks in here by hand um, and, a, and a bunch of hoists and everything and um, uh, set up everything where we needed to go and, and it's just been an absolute dream since then. The brew house is just beautiful. Tell us about how you got involved in microbrewing. Uh, I've been brewing for about 10 years now. I started my career at Little Creatures in WA. Um, I was there for about three and a half years and uh, had the calling from Victoria to come over and run a brewery here, uh, which I did for a while and um, in between that I've been up in Sydney running a brewery up there and now back down here in, uh, in Victoria. So how did you get your first job at Little Creatures? Did you just wake up one morning and decide you wanted to be a brewer? Um, I think I did. I think I did. Persistent, actually. I, I was actually started on the bar at Little Creatures. And, um, and I spent all of my spare time, whether it was days off, um, in between shifts, uh, hassling the brewers and uh, you know, getting in there and doing little jobs for them and, uh, and spending days um, brewing with them and just helping out. And, uh, Unfortunately, one of the guys hurt himself and um, they needed someone in there pretty quickly that had uh, some sort of an idea on what was going on in the brewery. So um, they asked me to, to join them um, in, the, in the brewery and that's, uh, that's, that's how, how it started. Oh, Just a love of beer and, uh, and harassment. That's fantastic. Sam, what styles of beer do you make here at True South? Uh, we've got a four or five different styles. I've got some seasonals here as well. We've got uh, our summer ale, which is absolutely perfect um, uh, out the front, uh, sitting, sitting out enjoying the sun, sitting on a beautiful summer's day. That's a coal style, um, so we have a really unique yeast strain that we use with that, um, imported yeast strain. Um, a New World Pilsner, which is a little bit of a twist on the, uh, on the old traditional style of Pilsners. Um, I do use the Sartz hops, beautiful Sartz hops out of Czech Republic, um, which have that nice spiciness to them. and. Uh, and in the end, I actually just pop in a little bit of um, New Zealand uh, Nelson Sauvin hops, mm -hmm. which uh, is actually a hop that is based on a Sav Blanc grape. So that's where we get our New World Pilsner from. So it's oh, a little okay. bit different to yeah. your, um, your actual traditional style Pilsners, but um, it's been absolutely like received so well. It's, it's um, a big seller. So the American Pale Ale, the Pilsner, we're missing one. We've also got an American brown. Okay. Okay, which is, uh, um, it's, it's more of the New World style again, yep. um, using nice um, fresh hops in there, uh, but also getting those nice, really nice roasty kind of uh, uh, figgy uh, flavours coming through as well. So just balancing those two together. Um, now, I think of brown ales, um, English brown ales as malt driven beers, but this is an American brown ale, so it's more hop driven. Absolutely. It's a hop, hop driven beer that is balanced with those beautiful roasty kind of, um, uh, those roasty flavours that you get off your roasted, um, the roasted malts, as well as those uh, coffee, coffee interpretations that come yeah. in as well. Okay, is there a particular beer, an international style that's inspired you? It's hard to say if there would be one. Too yeah. hard, uh, too hard basket, I think. Um, I, I really like um, mixing my beers to how I'm feeling. Yeah. Um, whether what I'm eating, um, uh, the seasons, different things. So, so trying beers from all around. I would have to say I, I do love the, um, the French Canadian beers. Yep. I'm a big fan of uh, a lot of the styles they're doing there and, and uh, where they're actually going with it. Um, mixing different uh, fruits and, and herbs and spices and uh, barrel fermenting, yep. um, all the different all weird, weird wacky stuff. things yeah. everyone's doing these days, which um, I think if you can do it right and do it properly, um, it's just, it turns out the product that you get at the end is absolutely amazing. It is. Sam, thank you very much for your time and we'll see you again. Thank you.
Here we are back in the keg room, and now it's time for us to taste our imported porter. And this week we have Okochim, which is a Polish porter. I've got to say, Robert, I always thought it was OK Kim, but anyhow, this, this brewery was established in 1845, and uh, the Commos nationalised it in 1945, and then it was reprivatised in uh, 1990. It's actually owned by Carlsberg, you know, the huge Danish company which owns seven or eight Polish uh, breweries. Um, and I first came across this beer in uh, a Polish restaurant, actually in Elsenwick, uh, uh, near the, the cinema there. And I certainly mispronounced it then. And um, I was quite taken with it. So I thought I'd ask you, what do you think of this one, Robert? Well, let me just say, whoa. That's a, it's certainly a meal in a glass, this beer, that's for sure. Um, but amazing complexity. There's uh, <clears throat> molasses, it's nutty, it's malty, it's sort of sweet, it's very rich, it's not too highly carbonated. It's, um, it's a beauty. I mean, I'm sure you couldn't drink more than a bottle of this. It's, it's so, such a rich, rich brew, this one, but... But boy, is it, it's, it's really got a lot of character. I think it's a four and a half star beer for me. Well, you've stolen my thunder a bit, Robert. <laughs> it's not perfect. There's a little bit of that developed yeast character in there, <laughs> heading towards that Vegemite, uh, Vitamin B, Barocca, which I don't find that appealing. But that's really nitpicking. Mm. This is so rich and luscious, I've got to say, this is a four and a half star beer, and that's twice today we've had a four and a half star beer. Yeah, and one Think, local one too. Which yeah, is... yeah, things are looking up, yeah. and they're both completely different. This Baltic style one to the earlier one, which is the robust style. Yeah. This is absolutely sensational. Yeah, you should you should really search this one out. Magnificent. Yes, it's true. Well, that's all we have time for this week. Um, thank you for watching, and don't forget to look at our website for Enzo's recipes, Ben the Home Brewer's tips, and to find out where we bought the beer and how we rated them. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all next week. Thank you. Good night. Good night.